Okay, ladies and gentlemen, question number 16 on the final exam review for college algebra, Math 1105, has to do with material that we covered that involved shifting, reflections, basically taking a curve that you knew, an equation of a curve that you already knew the shape of, and moving it by doing different things to it. So for example, one of the best ways to test you over this, suppose I asked you to write an equation of a function that has the shape of the graph of y equals absolute value of x, but we've shifted it two units to the left. Now, the new curve would be y is, or the, the equation of the new function would be y is equal to, if we're moving our graph to the left, that means that the x value is being affected. And one of the things that you need to remember, since we're shifting it two units to the left, whenever the x value is being affected, it does just the opposite of what you think is going to happen. So instead of x being inside the absolute value bars, we are going to have x plus 2. Now again, remember, that's very strange. When the x value is affected, it does just the opposite of what you think is going to happen. So normally you would think left is minus, but in this case it's plus. Now here's part of the reason behind that. Ask yourself the question if you were sort of uh, revamping this curve. What would make the number inside here become 0? And the answer would be negative 2. And that's how you can kind of help yourself remember that it does the opposite. Okay? And the next question is this. Suppose the graph has the shape of y equals x squared, which is a parabola. We're turning it upside down, and we're shifting it seven units up. Okay. The new curve would have the equation y equals... Now, of course, we have to have the x squared in there to keep the shape. If you recall, turning a graph upside down is going to reflect it with respect to the, turning a parabola upside down is going to reflect it with respect to the x-axis, which has me put a minus sign in front of the x squared. It's virtually like multiplying the old y value by negative 1. So it reflects it, and up 7 is a y movement, and y does exactly what it says. There's no reversal like there was with x. So, plus 7. So basically what happens, we take a parabola, we turn it upside down, and we shift the entire graph up 7 units. This would be my answer. So when, the, when there's an, a shift to the left or right, it's the x value that's involved. And just the opposite of what you think is going to happen happens. When it's a y value, it's the exact thing that you think is going to happen. And of course, remembering that the minus in front is going to turn it upside down. Okay.